All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here. And what happened to people taking accountability? 65% of women cheat, but 85% of the time, it's the man's fault. Essentially, women tend to cheat because they feel lonely for long periods of time in a relationship, so they might lean on another male for support and accidentally get a bit freaky with them. Okay, quick question. How do you accidentally get freaky with someone? You gotta, like, there's a lot of stuff going in here, and you have a lot of time to back on and be like, yeah. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I have a boyfriend slash husband. And number two, a relationship is based off of communication and compromise. How in God's name are you going to feel lonely in a relationship but not know how to communicate that to your partner? Seriously, if you can't even talk to your partner about your relationship issues, then how in God's name can you talk to a random guy or Twitter if you can't even talk to the person you're dating? Because you know... It's really not the best idea just to talk to people about your relationship issues because they don't know how much sacrifice your partner has given to the situation and they don't know how much sacrifice you've given to the situation in comparison, you know? They don't really know the full gist of everything and how much love is being put into people because no one can love you like your partner. And as far as compromise goes for a relationship, compromise is just, you know, coming to an agreement. There's a lot of ways to compromise things in a relationship. You also gotta sacrifice things, you know? You gotta give up crap that your partner doesn't like you doing and they gotta give up crap for you if you're giving up crap for someone and they're not giving up crap for you then don't let them step over you you know you gotta be like hey man why am i giving 100 percent you're giving 75 you're kind of slacking it's really bewildering to me how these people get in relationships to begin with if they don't even know the foundation that a relationship is built on and well, my game just broke, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And I understand it's probably a case scenario of, oh, I didn't mean for it to end up like that. I didn't mean to get that close with the person kind of situation. You know, I understand that, but it just, you let it happen. Do you take the accountability? You're the one who progressed that far in the relationship, so take the blame for it. I understand that if you felt lonely, that is your partner's fault. That is a reasonable conclusion to come to. But you should have communicated before cheating. That or you broke up. Well, communicated then broke up, but you get what I'm saying. There were a lot of other other options where you weren't at fault but you took the one that did make you at fault like i just don't get how you think this in your head you type it out you read it back and then you click tweet and you still don't think it's wrong wouldn't this not get past the stage of your head you know because once you've been like well hold on this logic kind of sucks i can't lie but uh yeah i'm gonna call it here don't cheat in a relationship there's far better ways to deal with it either a by just ending the relationship or b talking it through but uh yeah that's about it and six shot guys later